in principle, the, the answer is no. Uh, the specimens that, that we are collecting uh, for a regular bacterial diagnosis uh, are, are the ones that uh, we are using to implement also uh, rapid tests. So there is no any uh, additional uh, specifications to collect samples for these uh, rapid tests. So there is not any, any difference on that. Um, the, the rapid test can uh, easily uh, be incorporated in the in the workflow of the of the laboratory, with the aim of uh, generating information uh, that can provide uh, information about uh, what is the mechanism of resistance of the bacteria that are causing that are causing the the, the infection. In this sense, uh, uh, AMR detect tool um, it's easy to to implement in the in the clinical microbiology workflow. For instance, uh, uh, the, if we are using uh, AMR detect tool to detect the mechanism of resistance in urine, uh, the, the what we will do the first step uh, will do uh, that we will do is to do a gram stain of the of the urine to see if we so we can visualize gram negative bacilli, and the next step will be uh, implementing or incorporating the AMR detect tool in order to see if this gram negative bacilli is producing or not uh, ESVL or carbapenemases uh, by this uh, rapid test. So it's, uh, it's easily incorporating in the, incorporated into the, into the workflow. So it's an additional value, is a positive uh, incorporation, I will say. We have to say that the, the AMR detect tool is, is very easy to, to use, to perform. Uh, it does not uh, need uh, special skills for uh, by the technicians. So in this sense, could be incorporated as a point of care. However, and as I mentioned it before, uh, sometimes we need a, pre, a previous uh, procedure of the sample. For instance, for urine, we need a gram stain in order to see that uh, we can uh, detect a gram negative bacilli and then the next step will be incorporating the AMR detect tool to detect the, the, the resistant determinant. So in this case uh, will be much better to apply the, the detect tool into the clinical microbiology laboratory instead of the uh, you know, in the point of care. Understanding as a point of care uh, and a site that is done next to the to the patient. No? Uh, uh, in this sense uh, it's better that the sample is quickly sent to the to the clinical microbiology laboratory, and in the clinical microbiology laboratory, we produce all the all the procedure to get the final result. The implementation of a, a rapid test and the test we are talking about, the AMR detect tool, probably can shorten uh, the turnaround time in in less than, than twenty four hours. Um, so in more than 24 hours, I would say. Um, so it's providing information about antimicrobial resistance. Let me give you just a quick, a quick example. Um, if we have a patient that we have a suspicion that the patient has a neurosepsis, understanding by neurosepsis the sepsis that is originated in the in the urinary tract, then we can use urine to check by gram stain. If in this urine we see a gram negative bacilli. And if so, we can uh, incorporate the AMR detect tool in this urine in order to detect if this gram negative, gram -negative bacilli is producing uh, extended spectrum beta lactamases and, and carbapenemases. And if so, this is a very, a very important uh, information to provide to the clinician in order to uh, give the correct, the adequate antimicrobial uh, treatment. Uh, so we have not to wait until the positive blood culture because we are talking about urosepsis. Sepsis means uh, an infection uh, at the blood level. So we, no, we don't need to wait until the positivity of the blood. We can work with the urine. And in less than one hour, we can provide all this information. That, that's really very important. I think that we have to start saying that the... the, the Infection diseases doesn't have a schedules. You can have an infection now in the middle of the night during the weekend. So it's important to have the, the, the rapid test ready at, uh, at any time. Okay. And uh, when we receive the, the, the sample in the clinical microbiology laboratory that we can do, 
is just uh, uh, right away and just proceed the, the sample. As I mentioned it before, in less than one hour, we can give all this information to the clinician, the information concerning what is the cause of the infection, is a gram-negative bacilli, and if so, if this gram-negative bacilli is producing an extended spectrum, beral atomase or a carbapenemase, it's very important for uh, the clinician in order to give a more uh, precise antibiotic treatment. But there is another two points that has to be taken into consideration when we discuss about the, the, the reporting of the results. The first one, and it's important that the clinical microbiology laboratory is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because as I said uh, in the beginning, uh, the, the infection diseases doesn't know its schedules, okay? So it's important to have the lab often uh, during this 24-7. Uh, and the second interesting or important point is that when we generate from the clinical micro microbiology laboratory this result, uh, we send the result to the clinician, to the infectious disease specialist, and uh, we need to find this specialist. So the specialist has also to be in duty during this time in order to uh, get this information and with this information uh, to give an adequate antibiotic treatment. Uh, so I think that it's... Uh, it's uh, this uh, incorporation of the rapid test in the clinical microbiology setting is important, but also is important the transmission of the information to the to the specialist, infection disease specialist, who take this information and apply it very well. The mortality caused by infection diseases is associated with a correct uh, antibiotic treatment. As you know, uh, when a clinician is, uh, is uh, diagnosing, is doing a clinical diagnostic, they're providing an empirical treatment, but uh, he or she doesn't know if the bacteria causing the infection is susceptible to this empirical treatment. So he needs uh, rapidly uh, this information about what is the cause of the infection and what treatment I can give. And uh, with this rapid test, I, we can provide this information. So in, in a shorter time, they he or she can provide a, a more adequate antimicrobial treatment that in the end affect the mortality because uh, it's uh, decreasing probably the mortality as well.